Hey guys, this is Mainak and you are watching Swill Bro. So first of all, today we are going to do how to design matte foundation in the start putting foundation advanced. So for that, you have to have fully functional start file uh, and light and design, and then you open the start foundation and then you can just uh, click on this icon and import the start file. So I'm importing the start file, which I'm, this is the G plus for building the uh, design also in YouTube, I have given. Uh, all the things so uh, first of all i don't want to, want to you know import any load combinations here because uh, i'll generate the unfettered load combination in uh, stat itself okay so okay so i can do uh, deselect all and only select the you know primary loads here and then you can click on import will uh, make the uh, you know load combinations out of this okay so it takes some time to import here and we'll go to the isometric view, top view, top view is better for us and we'll straight away go to the loads. So just uh, we go to this uh, generate load combination. Now we still go design by the Indian code, generate load and okay and generate load combination, okay. I can select on the update table as well and just close this. Soil properties you can give and then uh, more importantly, we'll go to the job setup and then we have a matte design and uh, this obviously is matte and uh, in unit we are going to sorry we are code we are going to follow the indian code so automatically it will come to si and available load cases since you already designed the load combination and select ship select all and then bring there and then create the job so once the job has been created when foundation design job the default properties you can change from the soil test report and uh, most important is the mesh generation so uh, add meshing options here meshing regions here rectangular regions is my favorite one so we do minus one first and minus one just to give an offset to this and already you need to know the stat coordinates here x it is 7.55 so we'll add uh, two here so we'll 9.55 along the x 9.55 and uh, along the y in the stand of the distance 8.76 so then i'll do uh, 9.76 9.76 and uh, the uh, my foundation is 1.9 from the print level okay so i'll do minus 1.9 otherwise you can use zero if you are using the same level and i'll give the name uh, region name one okay so we'll add the region here so you can see this is the region which is uh, you know added here so uh, you can see this this uh corrections also you can do you know i can just select this and delete the region here and uh again using rectangular uh setup here i'll do minus one and uh, minus one here and length uh we will do uh let's do uh 10 here 10 length and the the width also uh will i'll do 11 Okay, let's see. Because you have to, you know, minus one point two. Let's do this. Uh, one point nine. Sorry, one point nine. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, a name one. Okay, now it's perfect. Okay, so uh, this you can modify like this. So once it is, it is done, then then we'll go to the next thing which uh, we have here. Analysis options, matte foundation design. Okay, so uh, here mesh generation is uh, mesh generation is done. We have done the mesh generation using uh, this, and now we'll go to meshing setup. So uh, now this red means it is selected. So this is selected, and then uh, region one and add. So region identifier one is added here. It is selected, and now okay. Now I have to select this, and then you select generate mesh, right? Uh, beginner don't need to worry just click on ok default mesh has been created so meshing has been done so the meshing has been done now we can go to the slab property you can change the slab thickness soil properties and insert the you know soil uh, properties and all uh, let's go uh, you know 5000 you can insert give as per the soil test report uh, just check and uh, provide this uh, value and after that uh, you can just click on this analyze and it will take some time to analyze so we'll wait so while saving it also asking to give the file name i'm just giving the file name save it now it is performing the design so design is on the way 
So finally, it is done. It takes a long time to you know design. It you can print this uh, design calculation sheet. Okay. Uh, like uh, from this here, you can just print this uh, design calculation sheet. I can go to geometry and you can go to output a view options. You can see show total node displacement, draw 3D diagram. So draw 2D diagram, show plate, stress, show soil pressure. So you can just uh, do all that and the stress types of maximum top. Suppose you want to see maximum top and uh, you know this all these values you can just uh, find out from here and then you go to moment envelope generator and uh, no global x and you can just uh, generate the meshing envelope don't need to click on anything and then you go to slab designer and you give the grade of concrete and uh, steel which you want i uh, can change the cover of uh, all uh, you know everything and uh, this also these things also you can change and after that spacing also you can change okay and then you can just click on design and uh, design process and design summary you can find here so uh, here you can find out the uh, you know longitudinal uh, ast required 360 and from this ast uh, you can find out the steel so square uh, you know ast required square meter so uh, this is the AST required in top 360. So from this and uh, from the already you have the area of particular uh, slab. From there you can find out the total uh, steel which is required and details report. You can just click on this details report also. Okay, from this details report also side top you can see uh, top here the area of steel which is required punching shear uh, you can find out from here and you can also print this file so like this you can this is the process which you can design the uh, you know mat footing in stat foundation advanced okay